Hey guys, Bodie here. Today is episode 4 of the animated Dave Sayers saga. Elma continues to keep Dave off of his script and occupied with the quote-unquote hacker. Let's get into it. Hello? <coughs> yes, hello. <coughs> oh, goodness, okay. It's, well, they're, they're going to take care of it. Alright, well, he said I'm, getting, that, uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting some information because I got a call just now um, from the bank, right? Your bank information, and I'm seeing where... Um, the phone call, because I try to have them trace the call and seeing that the number that you call was switched over right to those persons because they're hacking the phone lines. I'm even talking to one of their representatives right now. Um, she's giving me some information right from the federal government in regards to what's going on. Who is? So um, that is the lady that you talked with, right? She was giving me some information the about business what's Bureau? Really going on. Yes, from the better biz, from the better business bureau. Yeah, I don't really care what that? she thinks. Like she's not, she's nobody. She doesn't. She can't okay. do anything. Better business bureau, yes. nobody's. All right. So, did you call your bank? What did they say when you yes. talked to the bank? Well, he said that uh, he see he seen that there were some transactions and that he's going to uh, look into it. He's going to uh, try to have them canceled. He said that they won't uh, be processed uh, through the bank tonight so that I don't I don't have to worry about that for the ones that are All right now what is processing. the number what is the number what is the number you call for the bank uh, Oh goodness uh, what was the number that I called uh, um it was uh I think it was 1-800-935-9935 Okay repeat the number 1-800-935-9935 Okay, one eight hundred nine three five nine nine three five. Yeah. Now, is that number is that number on your bank statement? Is that number on your bank statement you get from the bank? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go get one of your bank statements and get back for me the last bank statement you got. Go get it. Oh, it would be on the computer. All right, the last bank statement. All right. That bank statement that you're probably seeing on the computer is probably a transaction that was created, right? Because as I told you, once person tapped in on your account, they can put anything on your computer, and your computer is still being hacked as we speak, based uh, on the information I'm getting from technical uh, support. We need, we, right? I need to call the so, police then or something. All right. Because so we what need, you need to get to something. To call, yes, call your grandson and have him to come over, um, your, your, your nephew your nephew and have them to come over and tell him that technical support just hacked your computer, right? And uh, they gave you a number to call the bank and it's not working properly because I'm sure you did not speak with the bank because I just Googled the number that you gave me and it's not attached to your bank, right? So um, I don't know where that number came from. That's why I wanted you to check your personal documents, right? You had to have at least some papers there from the bank when you went there Open your account, and you have a paper well, there. That it'll probably be on the back side of my uh, my bank card. Yes, your bank card. Good. I'm so you're going to look on your bank card there. Yes, and call that number you're seeing on your bank card, right? Not the number you're seeing on your computer, because remember, your computer it is at risk right now, and anything you see on it, it's not making any sense. All right, so. Even with that guy, how can he tell you that everything is okay with your account and he sees that you made some transactions and it's okay? Even if it's okay, right? You need to know more about what's happened and not well, give you a Well, he said that he's going to be looking into it. He said he's going to call me back within two hours. Oh, two hours. No, the bank doesn't work like that, my dear. In two hours, that if they made a transfer from your account, the, the technical, technical department, that money will be gone in two hours. So what I need you to do is call the card number. That you have okay, on the back, the the number here, you have on see. the back of your car. Yes, where's make my, sure my because you glass. have a physical. Make sure, make sure. All right, make sure. All right, this says one eight hundred nine three five. Nine nine three five. It's just I think that's the same number. Okay, so the number is one eight zero zero nine three five nine nine three five. Okay, so that's the number you're seeing on your bank card. And what does the card say? What do you mean, what does it say? That's the card you got from the bank, or you yes, got that yeah. card in the mail? Well, I got it in the mail from the bank. Okay, well, when did you get that in the mail? Uh, pro a couple of months ago, after all of my uh, stuff was stolen out of my purse. 
Okay. So if something, you see where you're getting the problem from, sweetheart, someone stole your identity and your information. And now they're using that to hack the account, right? So what I need you to do, um, is there any way you can get to your, your nephew and ask him to drop you by the bank before two hours? Because if that guy says he's going to call you in two hours, you don't want to take the risk of waiting two hours, right? Of knowing what's really going on with your money. Because as I told you, Someone just transferred some money out of the account that you had here at the company, and we knew nothing about it, right? The money was taken out of the account, $1.2 million, and we did not know because we were trying to get everything organized with you on the cell phone as well. So these persons, they're very crafty, and, you know, they're good in what they do. But at the end of the day, you know, you are working with, that is a legitimate individual at this time, and we're trying to ensure that what we're doing can be done in the right and appropriate way, okay? Because what they're doing, they're doing something that we have no idea, right? And they're good at it. So as I told you, you click the link on your computer today, they crash your computer, and they, give, they gain access because when they called you, they asked for you to pay them. That's when they made the wrong line. They crossed the wrong line when they asked for $500, all right? How come you pay $500 to fix your computer when someone didn't come there physically, right? Yeah, yeah. well, he said that he, can, he canceled that. He didn't cancel that. They didn't cancel that. How can he cancel your money if he's not the person that hacked your account? That's, that means he's the person that hacked your account. No, if he's he the he bank. That. He's the bank. He, I, I wanted him to cancel. He said that he canceled it. And he said that he put a, he'll put a hold on on uh, on the account and that he's going to uh, look into it and he'll call me back within two hours. Right. This is what I want he you to do. He said not to worry about anything for two hours. No, I want, I want you to worry because I don't want two-hour time you're telling me that I'm the person that's responsible for this and I'm trying to help, all right? I have no involvement in this. The thing that I'm trying to do is to get some things to you and now you're telling me that someone is messing with your computer and I didn't know that. And now these are the person that's calling from technical support. They're to blame. So if you call the bank and they said that they're the bank, I just Googled the number. It's not the bank number. You got that card in the mail. Probably they sent you that card a month ago or so. And then they're trying to pull their scam on you now. But this is what you're going to do for me. Look in your drawer where you have all of your papers, where you open your bank account. Look for those papers. And you're going to look on that paper. All right? Look on that paper. You're going to see that is your information and the date you open the account and the number for the original bank, not a card you get in the mail because anyone can send you something in the mail, all right? So what do I have to do? You're going to look for your original bank papers. Oh, when you I, don't open have your account. Any, I don't have any of that. Okay. So you don't have any of that right now? No, goodness, no. That would have been years okay. ago. All right. Now, what is the last thing you can remember having from, uh, that is, the company, from the bank? The what? Paperwork you have from the bank. Everything is stored on your computer? Yeah, uh, no, I don't have paperwork. There is no paperwork for, to, uh, like the bank would have that. I'm saying. I don't I'm have saying, copies when the of bank it anymore. Sends you, when the bank sends you bank statements, They don't right? send bank when statements the bank, anymore. They email them to your email, right? No, it's just online. Oh, you just go online and check your email. Yes, okay. Yeah. It's so all they don't, just e you don't they, request They physical. have their own little messaging service, and if you want it, you can go in and get it. Okay. All right. Now, this is what I want you to do, all right? As I mentioned, uh, what is the name? It's Chase, right? The name of the bank that you have the account right now with it's Chase, right? Yes, yeah, I'm with Chase. All right, hold on. I'm going to give you a number. I'm going to give you a number, and you're going to call that number. All right? All right. All right, hold on. Are you ready for the number? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right, what street, what street is your bank on? The Chase Bank that you opened the account with, what street is on? Oh, goodness, I don't know that information. Okay, so you don't know the street that is on or the location? 
All right, take this number down. All right. All right, 940. Yeah. 381. And 940. 7402. 7402. Okay, now what you're going to do for me, right? You're going to call this toll free number, right? All right. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. When you call, when you call the toll free number, you're just going to nine four zero three eight one seven four zero two. Right. Wonderful. All right. Okay. And when you call that number, what you're going to do? It's going to. They're going to ask you if you're a holder off the chase. You're going to put in your information, right? And uh, you're going to talk to a customer representative, and you let them know you want to check on your account. Probably this is a different branch, but it's the same it's the same um, Chase institution, but you just let them know where you have your bank and the location you are, and they will just check your account for you. You give them the number, and they'll just check it for you. Hmm. All, All right. right, so you okay. know the balance is there. All, All right. right. Now, when you do that, when you do that, you let them know you talk to a representative, right, because you are viewing transactions that you did on your account. And uh, you want to make sure that you know the uh, transactions that were done. So you ask them the transactions that were processed, and they're going to let you know. All right? Uh, okay. All right. All right. So All dial right. that number and uh, let them know that you are, you know, you are trying to get in touch with that is the next toll-free line you have. And ask them if the number that the <coughs> guy gave you on the card is a legitimate number for the bank. So when oh, you okay. call them, you ask them if this number is connected to that is the chase because you got it on a card and you yeah. wanted to check your account because yeah. your computer is not working well. All okay. right? All right. Okay. All right. All right. So call them, ask them to check the number out, and then uh, you see what happens, and then you ask them about your account, and they'll give you inquiry. All right? And uh, is your computer still on? I don't think it's on, no. Okay. You plugged it out, right? Yes. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, I turned it off. Okay. Just double check again. Make sure it's off and then you come back. And if you get in touch with the bank, the number I gave you, you let them know that uh, you're trying to have some inquiries on your account. And this is what I want you to do. Monitor the voices that you're talking to. All right. Monitor the person to see if they sound the same way as if they sound like when you just called the bank and the same guy from the Intel service. All mm. right. Okay. Because th those persons, they're very crafty and... Uh, as I told you, I want to make sure that you're on the safe side. I'm not trying to do anything wrong, just trying to, get, you know, get a heads up for you. Safety comes first, all right? All right, okay. All right, good. So what you're going to do, you're going to call the number I gave you. Remember, call the number I gave you, all right? Even okay. if your phone call is transferred to a next call, because I'm talking to you and it seems as if our call is bugged. So anything you say on the phone, you know, is not safe anymore. All right, what I need you to do, right, you can also call, that is, your phone company when you're finished. When you get in touch with the bank, you're going to call your phone company and check. I'm going to give you some information to check something out, all right? So what you're going to do, you're going to check your account, call the bank, the number I gave you, and see what's going on, all right? All right, okay. All right, remember, if the phone rings before I call you back, you don't answer the phone. I'm not going to. Ow. No, no uh, I won't. Because I, there's something I can't get my hands around. Someone stole some money from my account today, the account that was set up for you at the bank. And the bank, right now, the bankers, they're crazy. They don't know what's going on. Someone stole so money? We're trying. Yes, yeah, someone wired some money out of the account today, right? What is it? So they wired some money out of the membership account that you have here with the bank and stuff. So they put it on review and they closed the account down and got it, you know, to a point where no one can access it. So that's why I wanted to let you know that right now this is on top priority where you need to find out what's going on with your bank. That's the main thing. All right. All transfer that you don't know about, you need to know what's going on for them. All right. So don't wait until two hours. I'm telling you, two hours will be, you know, a, a very long time to wait. I'm about results now. All right. So do what you have to do. Call the number I gave you. Let them know you want to check out a number because this number came up on your computer and your computer crashed, right? And you have yeah. an account with Chase and you're going around in circles because you talk to a technical support person 
and that person isn't giving you as much information, adequate information about it. So you think they hacked your computer. All right, so when you do that, what you do, you just verify with them. They will ask you for your account information, and you ask them recent transfers that's been done on your account. And if they give you information on that, you know, and they give you your name and such for an account and information, you know it's real. Ask personal information about your account that only the bank will have before giving information away. So that way you will know you're talking to someone that is working for the bank, all right? All right, okay. All right, so do that now. Call the number I gave you, check it, and call me right back, all right? Let them know you want to check on your account. Because right. your computer was crashed, all right? Okay, all right, okay. I'll call them now. All right, good. All right, all right. and remember, this has nothing to do with me, all right? Yeah. Well, yes. All right, so you don't have to let them know you're getting any money or you're doing anything. You're just checking something because you said... Well, I mean, this might be the reason support. why that they're, they're doing it. No, that's, this is not the reason why. Well, this they probably the found out why. somehow the that they're probably, you know... They're hacking you to get some money. That's what they're doing. They're hacking you to get some of what we're giving you, all right? And I'm sure you did a payment that you know of. I don't want money to come out of your account that you don't know of. And I don't have your account information. I did not log into your computer, all right? So yeah. the only person you gave access to your computer was this morning, right? So any transfer that was done this morning and you didn't do it, that means it's the person that you gave access to your computer. Those are, they, those are the person that did it, right? So that's why I want you to just check out to see what's going on, all right? Call that number I gave you. All right, okay. All right, good. So you're just checking on your account, all right? Yes. And the 21-7, 20, you send that. The other payment, you send that. Any other payment you see there, you don't know about it, you didn't send that. All right? Because all right. Sharing is caring. And you know what you did. And that's for other persons to, to know as well. All right? So, as I mentioned, do what you have to do and get in touch with me. All right? And okay. remember, Ms. Satchel is working for you. Ms. Satchel is working for you. She's a financial representative. She takes care of business for you. So okay. that's why you send her that payment. She's yeah. a financial representative. Yeah, she's, yeah, okay, she's so like... They ask about her. She's a financial representative that takes yeah, care of She's a off broker that takes care of the taxes and stuff for Yes, yeah, investments. She takes care of taxes investments. for my for my winnings. Stuff. No, you don't have to even mention your winnings, but other investments, right? Deposit. Remember she's taking care of a deposit that will be done for you. She's taking care of a check that will be delivered to you. All right? So yeah. she is also a CP, a certified public accountant. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So in a sense, she will receive the check and deliver it to your home, all right? So when the check is in her hand, she's not delivering a sweepstakes. She's carrying out, that is a mandate, taking care of in a job, a job title, all right? So she's a certified accountant. So if they ask you where you did that transfer to, that is an accountant, that's good, that's your business. Because remember, you use your account for investment. And this account will reflect over $42 million within the next couple of hours, all right? So I wanna make sure when that money goes in that account, no one else can take it out of that account unknown, all right? Because that's the problem we're having right now, okay? Okay, what, what, what problem? We want to make sure that your account is up to date, that everything that is there is there, right? Did you get a chance to yeah. check your balance? Did you get a chance to check how much you have in there? I didn't. <clears throat> he, the, uh, the guy said that it was, it was the same. It was... The correct balance. He, that it what's was, the same? What's the same? He the can't balance. tell you what's the same. That's that's the issue. He can't tell you what's the same. Why can't so he, he tell? To Why can't to someone? He? Because he doesn't. He, he needs to tell you the figure in dollars and in cents and in thousands. If he was the bank, because if you ask the banker to tell you how much is in your account, the banker will tell you it. For yeah, example, he told he told me the amount. He told me the amount. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. But as I mentioned to you, once he told you the amount, just the same, I just want you to double check, all right? Safety first, you're going to double check, and also you're going to get that organized. So you will be able, right? Okay. Okay, wonderful. 
So as I mentioned, what you're going to do, right, you're going to check the number as I told you. When you call the number, the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and make sure that you can review how much activity has been done on your account from as way back as January, as December. That's December 1st to give you the transactions last year, right? Yeah. So you view those transactions with the bank to make sure you're speaking with the banker. All right, so call the number I gave you. Let them know you cannot find your original number because your computer was crashed this morning, but you know that this is a Chase number to a Chase bank, right? So you call it and check it and see what's going on, okay? Mm. Okay, all right. All right, so go ahead and make your call. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, so I'm going to call that number you gave me. Okay. Yeah. Tell me the number. 940 Is that correct? Hello? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. 940 Okay. Yes. That's the number. Okay. <sighs> All right. And if this doesn't work, if this doesn't work, I need you to have someone to come over to look on your computer themselves. All right, to have someone to call, come over and look on your computer. Apart from just calling, calling on the phone. Get someone to come over and look on the computer. All right? Okay. All right. All right, so call now and check, and if that doesn't work, you call me back. Okay. All right. All right. Well, there it is, folks. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you have not already. Then hit the bell and share. And until the next one, photo. You have been invaded by Oda.